my fitness pal whether you're dieting or not it's a good idea to document what you're eating each day because if you don't you may overindulge and we don't want to do that this video is to show you how I work with the my fitness pal app you can use this app on your cell tablet or desktop If you have a smart TV, I don't know, maybe you can use it on there too. There are two ways you can enter food in the um, My Fitness Pal. The first way is to scan. As you can see, I have my Genio um, turkey burgers, and I'm getting ready to scan those. easy huh it gives you the nutritional facts of the food that you're scanning fats sodium carbs protein sugar so it's a good way to help you watch these things if you need to do that the second way is to put, enter the food into the search engine All different brands of turkey burgers come up you just search through the list until you come to the brand that you're eating it also recognizes generic brands and if it doesn't have the generic brand or whatever kind of food you're eating you can always add it If you already have a food in your food diary, you've already put it in there, you already searched for it before, it'll come up automatically. But if I'm typing, if you see the food already here and I'm still typing, it's because I'm trying to show you exactly what to do. See, the cheese is already there, but I'm still typing.
I didn't put, I didn't show you when I put the bread in. I did film it, but I don't know what happened to it. I probably deleted it at some point because I was trying to edit. I'm not just really an expert at this editing game yet, but I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on keeping on until I get it right. <laughs> As you can see, I'm hovering between healthy and unhealthy foods. I'm not on a per se diet right now. I do try to cut back when necessary. Well, not when necessary. I try to cut back as much as possible. But I do indulge in things that I like to eat cookies, lemon cookies for once. The Miracle Whip, a lot of people, well I have try Greek yogurt instead of Miracle Whip. It's fine, but I like the tang in Miracle Whip. So, when I'm not doing a strict diet, I eat my Miracle Whip. And my lemon cookies. I do a snack pack. I buy generic, the uh, Walmart brand lemon cookies. And I also buy the Ore <clears throat> excuse me, the Oreo lemon cookies. In the snack pack, I put six Walmart brand lemon cookies and two Oreo. And I put all of them in the snack pack. And once a day, I take it to work with me and I snack on it. I do a lot of working. I do, I do a lot of walking at work, so I, 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 I'd like to believe that I'm burning the, the cookie calories off. The uh, 490 calories that come from the cookies that I eat. I haven't had the Krispy Kreme donuts in a while. But see, it's still there. That's an example of how the um, the library still stays there. And when you punch in a few words or something similar, like the sweets, the lemon cookies were there, but the donut popped up because it's part of the sweet family. what I have so far today. I have four cups of water also that it's not showing on this page. Complete this entry. Once you finish, you know you finished for today, then you push to complete this entry and it'll tell you how long in five weeks how much you'll be weighing 
in five weeks if you eat like you did on this day. Okay, my, with my coffee, I'm looking through the list for the brand that I have, but it's not there. And what you do when you can't find it in the list, then you put it in the search box and search for your brand, whether it be generic or a name brand. The serving size I didn't pay attention was uh, 16 ounces and I put three servings, three servings of that serving size, which wasn't true. I had, um, I drank 24 ounces, so that's three servings of, you know, eight ounces, which is still a lot. But I only drink coffee maybe, maybe three times a week. Some weeks I don't, I don't drink it at all. But I do get a taste for it at least two or three times a week. creamer just popped up I'm still good doing good with the creamer I'm not putting regular milk coconut milk coconut creamer is a healthier version than the full fat that I would normally use vitamin D milk I try to make smart changes when I can But I am going to get strict very soon because I'm not where I want to be. When it comes to um, artificial sweeteners, I need to remember that less is better because it tastes better with less sweetener than it does like sugar. I believe that more, the more sugar, the better. I love that. I have a sweet tooth and the more sugar the better. I love sugar. But with artificial sweetener, the more eh, not so much better. It has like a, the more you put in it, the more of an aftertaste it has, in my opinion. So I'm going to drop back down to maybe one or one and a half serving. See which one tastes best. But I 
think I've cured myself of the extra sugar taste since I've done the um, JJ virgin diet I've learned to live without excess sugar and excess salt by doing that program which I need to try again my willpower just isn't what it needs to be right now but I'm getting it back it's coming And with the JJ Virgin Diet, I did lose, I believe, 18 to 20 pounds. So it does, it does a body good. And it's not that bad. I mean, the food menu isn't bad at all. I thought I, when they said cut out seven foods, I thought for sure I couldn't do it. But hey, I did. And I put my food into the My Fitness Pal. And it told me what I was eating each day. So that was a good thing. I hope you found this video informative. If you would, please like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I have another, some, a couple more My Fitness Pal videos coming. So see you then. Pack Natural, out.